you hear about what happened on the news, the shooting in Texas? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, before we get into that, you're five percent, right? Mm-hmm. We've discussed this before, but just remind me a little bit. What is the overlap between five percent and being a Muslim? There is some overlap, right? Well, we're not. We don't call ourselves Muslims, first of all, um, unless you take it as the Mu Salam Mu means one, salam means peace, one of peace. Well, I am one of peace, but we're not Muslims in no okay. traditional orthodox sense. We we see ourselves as God, and a lot of Muslims would look at that as blasphemous okay. almost, you know. Uh, do you study the Quran? I don't study it. I, I mean, I've read it. I've, I've read, read it. You know, I've read through it, but I don't, it's not a daily book that I read, and, okay. it, and it's not like, that we study that as as our basis of how our foundation of how okay. we live our lives and all that. But there's jewels in there, and it's a valuable book, sure. just like a lot of holy books. Absolutely. Uh, do you recognize the Prophet uh, Muhammad? I mean, I feel he was one of the people sent here to teach the people something at a certain time. Okay. And I recognize that. Yes. Okay. So we know about the situation that happened in Paris when the newspaper put out a cartoon ridiculing the Prophet Muhammad. Right. Gunmen came in, right. killed a bunch of people. They were ultimately killed by the police. Right. Mm -hmm. So a woman who believes in free speech had a contest in, I believe, Garland, Texas. Right. And put up a $10,000 prize mm -hmm. to the person who could create the best Prophet Muhammad cartoon. Knowing damn well that you're not supposed to make any illustrations, according to the Muslims, of the Prophet Muhammad. Well, certain people believe that. Certain parts of the Muslim community feel that way. The entire, Muslims the, don't believe. The, the entire, well, the entire Muslim community does not feel that way. From what I understood, True Muslims, you go in their house, they don't have a bunch of paintings and images right. and stuff on the wall exactly. and all of that type of stuff. Well, you know, for example, my, my barber, Yusuf, is a, uh, is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, he grew up in Morocco. Devout, right, but there's many different types of Muslims exactly. as well. But he's, a, he's a devout Muslim. He, mm -hmm. he prays every day. His family is Muslim and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I, for example, asked him about this particular situation, his answer was he does not agree with it because he said that the Prophet Muhammad would not have had someone killed for creating an image of him. Right. He said, furthermore, Muhammad's grandfather was not even religious, did not even believe in God at all. And Muhammad never spoke ill of him and accepted him for what he was. And right. He, he says that Ma, that that Muslim, being a a Muslim is a is a religion of peace. One of and, peace. I one just of said, peace and, and, and does yeah. not and, and there is no supporting of killing people. Right. But there's a certain segment of the Muslim population, a radicalized, you know, yeah. uh, portion of of the Muslim population that feels that if you do any kind of representation of the Prophet Muhammad or 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 and especially anything negative, that they will kill you for this. See, this is like you're purposely trying to incite some shit in people. Well, are you trying to incite it or are you trying to make do you feel more strongly about free speech? And you're, you're trying to make a statement about the ability for people to say that. But see, the, the free speech and then the disregard of a segment of the population who, also, who already seems like they're getting kicked from every direction, it's like, is that cool? Like, if I, out of free speech, said, okay, I'm going to set up an art exhibit, and I'm going to have, you know, some Nazi shit, mm -hmm. okay, where we have, like, you know, 
we're showing ovens and we're showing Jewish people going into the showers and all of this and type of shit. And I'm paying you to, wouldn't there be a certain, a big segment of the Jewish population that would be furious about that? And some of them would act the same way? Well, historically, if you look at the Jewish population or the Christian population or the Buddhist population, you don't see people getting killed for criticizing their beliefs. There wouldn't be two Jewish dudes that's going to come down there, maybe ready to blow this shit up or come with guns. Knock it off. Let's keep it real. But you haven't seen it. Number one, it's not, it's all interpretation. I don't, I'm not sure because I haven't read the Quran like that, but I don't think that there is an actual statement in the Quran that says, if you create a car, a picture criticizing Muhammad, you have to be killed. I think that that is an interpretation. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen that, and that, that just might be an interpretation. It what is an interpretation. It's an interpretation. I mean, just, just like there's an interpretation that the mark of Cain is, is actually black people, right? It's all, you're talking about very, you know, books that are created to, to make, to help people live better lives and to have principles and morals and so forth. It's all interpretation at the end of the day. There's very few hard, fast rules that are saying specifically to go and hurt other people and kill other people and so forth. That, that's very, very rare. Right. But my thing is, you have people that are trying to purposely, inst like, fuck free speech. You and I both have people insulting us on every right, single on a single, daily basis. On a, on a minute basis. Right. <laughs> like, the stuff that you and I put out gets hundreds of thousands of comments. Many of those comments are negative. And it's all how you allow those things to make you feel. Right. I'm okay with that. Right, so am I. I am okay with anyone saying whatever they like about me. They could even say they want to kill me and, and so forth. You know, and, and you know, there's certain laws around threats and so forth, you know. So if I ever wanted to pursue legal matters or whatever, I have the option to do it. But at the end of the day, I, I kind of don't care. And whoever wants to say anything about me, about my family, about my race, about my religion, whatever, you could go ahead. You know, I don't have to always watch it. I could always block you if I want to. Right. But that's not going to stop me from, that's not going to stop that person from saying it on some other outlet. And I honestly believe that all those people should be allowed to say what they want. Right. But that's an you American could, concept. Right. You see? And you can't just take your outlook and apply it to everybody else in the world and say, because that's egotistical. The fact, and then that's what's got us fucked up now. Like, Europeans have gone around the fucking world and tried to impose their worldview on the rest of the world. And that's some bullshit. There's a segment of the world that says, whether you agree with it or not, you fuck with Muhammad, we're going to kill you. Right. One of the things that, that, that me and my barber discussed this morning was he said that he doesn't think it's as much of a Muslim thing, but more of an Arab thing. He said that culturally in Arab countries, especially places like Yemen, you insult a man, he doesn't call the police. He goes and handles that. You know, a woman cheats on a man in Yemen, he will go and kill that woman. That's just how the cultural uh, culture is raised. This is how fathers treat their, you know, raise their sons and so forth. So when you talk about certain events, you have to look at the origin of the person and how they were raised, and you can't always right. say, well, it, it's, you can't always compare it to that of an American, and you can't always exactly. look at just the religion. You have to look at the cultural the context. Cultural, the culture behind the religion. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what I'm saying. So, we're not doing that. We're just sitting here as Americans, you know, when they've been pumping this freedom of speech shit in your mind, you know, since you was a kid. See, how come the transgender and the homosexuals, when they have feelings, it's okay? But now when somebody else has f strong feelings about something, now that's a problem. The feelings is not the problem. It's the murder that's a problem. That's what people are having problems with. Now, if, if a but whole... But there's a uh, lot of people that murder f over feelings. I mean, if a whole bunch of Muslims came to Garland, Texas and started to, to protest and try to shut down the event, you know, in a peaceful manner, 
I don't think anyone would really care all that much. I don't think that there would be an outrage or whatever else. I think that that's, that's perfectly fine. But when they show up with body armor and assault rifles, you know, shoot the security guard and essentially try to kill everyone in there. I mean, that was, that was the, obviously that was the intent. They, were, they ended up getting killed by armed police who mm-hmm. were ready for that situation this mm-hmm. time around. Yeah, because... They were expecting some shit like that because they, they some knew shit like that. Yeah. they were causing some shit by doing that. This is what I'm right. telling you. Like, but in America, you are allowed to do that. I hear you, but at the same time, it, that doesn't make it cool. There's got to be respect levels drawn, man. Like, what? What's the purpose? Like, why to purposely incite some shit in a in a people so that you could try to make them all look bad when a couple of motherfuckers show up on some shit because you knew you was pushing buttons. I don't think that it was designed to make all Muslims yeah, look yeah. bad. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Really? I'm, I'm saying when this type of shit happens, that's the design. You see, you do some shit to agitate it, then when a couple of motherfuckers who might be on some bullshit actually come and do what you're trying to agitate, now that helps to make all Muslims look bad. I think if you're somewhat un- uneducated and, and don't really think about the situation, you could see that. I think that if you are educated and think about it, you know, you say... Well, we can't let a couple, two people set an, you know, allow you to make a statement about millions of other people. I mean, I've seen, I've watched Bill Maher, you know, and I'm a fan of his show too. But at times he'd be on some bullshit. Yeah. He, you know, he has this 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 outlook on on Muslims that he feels the majority of Muslims believe that people should be killed, like you said, when. You know the uh, I mean that that's I've I've known a lot when of when a picture of Muhammad is defaced yeah. or anything he he believes that the majority of Muslims around the world I mean, that, believe I mean, in killing and and things of that nature right. from certain things that are said in the Quran and that, that's, that's 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 ridiculous that, that's his point of view I don't agree right. with it but he's an educated man though you just said someone who's not educated he seems pretty educated fair on enough. a lot of stuff fair enough fair enough I think it's a sad situation. I think that it makes Muslims as a whole look bad. Right. You know, I That's think, what I, said. I, you know, <laughs> I, I think that, that when someone like my barber, who to my knowledge has never hurt anybody, and, you know, is really just trying to live a, a good life and raise his family, he sees this type of shit and just goes like, you know, I mean, I, I think it's no different than, you know, when you see a black person acting stupid you know, or do something, do something ignorant, you know, you, you probably, you know, I mean, like, I, I, I remember, I, I remember there was a, an old uh, Chris Rock special. It, it was, uh, and I remember I was talking to, to my girlfriend at the time about this, and she actually agreed with it, you know. She said, he said that the difference between how white people watch the news and black people watch the news is that when a story comes up and, you know, something crazy happens in a story, and they're they're, they're starting the story off. He's like, oh, you know, the, 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 yeah, the white guy goes, "I bet you it's a black guy." I bet, yeah, see, I told you. Right. Whereas the black guy watches, going, "Please don't let it be a black guy." Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> you know, and that's, I think it's the same type of thing, right? Y- well, you know, when you have someone doing something that makes everyone else look bad, and ultimately it reflects on you because you are part of that community, right? Uh, I think it's unfortunate. I think it's, it's very unfortunate. Cause, well, cause this also goes to... This also connects to how they try to promote like individualism in this country. When we're all connected. You see? Yeah. Like what you do... And, and it doesn't have to be something as extreme as murder. But what you do actually affects other people around you and people in your community. Right. You know, people are not, I mean, humans themselves are social creatures. It is extremely rare to find a human being living in the forest by him or herself, raising vegetables and you know, living by themselves. It's weird. Like, you know, that was how the Unabomber was able to to get away with 
what he was doing for so long. Mm -hmm. He was he was off the grid, living off by himself somewhere, mm -hmm. and even he had to go into the city every so often to right, <laughs> pick right, up right. a few things here and there. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very much an oddity for a human being raised in whatever fashion, in whatever country, yeah, race, be solitary. whatever, to be solitary. Right. It's just so, not an, so, it's, so why has this prom promotion of individualism been drilled in our heads since we were little kids? Because they're trying to disconnect us from each other. Mm. When really we are connected. Yeah. Everything in this universe is connected in some kind of way. Absolutely. Because it all comes from one source. And it's just the source dividing itself in infinitesimal pieces. Yeah. And each piece is, is the source living out its existence. But you think you're your own fucking person. You <laughs> see? That's why you feel like, oh, well, if I do this, it's not going to hurt anybody else because, you know, this is just me. This is just living my life. You know? Yeah. But doing, guess what? Doing everything me. you do, <laughs> everything you do affects, everybody affects else. somebody else. Affects everything else. Right, so yep. stop saying all this. Let me just live my life and da 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 da. It's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you dissing Young Thug over here. Young Thug saying little things over there. Man, somebody do something. Ain't y'all playing niggas supposed to be gangsters? If you to, if you gonna be about it, about it, be about it, about it, fool. You know what I'm saying? Like I just. So I was like, hey, what you doing? She's like, I'm with my boyfriend. I was like, what? Oh, hate you. I, I called a mutual friend, and I was like, I really like him, da-da-da. And we linked up.